Today we're going to make a grilling station. The cart is made up of 2x8s and 2x4s. I'm going to start by cutting them into the appropriate lengths. Now you can find all these measurements on my website. Before I assemble the pieces, I like to give them a good sanding with an orbital sander and 120 grit paper. I start the assembly process by making a series of frames out of the 2x4s. I then screwed two 2x8s and one 2x4 onto the top of these frames to make each shelf. Now because the screws are located so close to the edges of the boards, I am pre-drilling my holes. This makes the screws go in a lot easier. The vertical supports for this cart are made out of angle irons. Now I'm going to need to drill holes into these to drive screws through. Now I use a few drops of cutting oil with each hole. This keeps the drill bread lubricated and keeps it from getting too hot. Now I want the screws to sit flush to the surface of the angle irons. So I'm going to switch out my drill bits to a larger bit. I'm just going to drill a little bit of the way through to create a countersink hole. I'm going to now get my angle irons ready for painting by cleaning off any rust and dirt with steel wool. And now they're ready for two coats of spray paint. Now the inside corner of angle irons are a little bit rounded, so I'm going to sand down the corners of my shelves and frames so that the angle irons fit perfectly on them. I can now adjust the shelves into place and then screw through the pre-drilled holes and into the shelves. It's helpful to have an extra person around to help or use some clamps to hold the angle irons exactly in the right place. Now I'm going to drive screws through all the holes in the first two angle irons before flipping it over and adding more angle irons. Once all the angle irons are on, I can flip the card over upside down and add on the wheels. And I'm just using heavy duty steel casters. The top of the cart is made from three pieces of 2x8 spaced one quarter inch apart. I'm just going to measure to make sure that I get the top centered right on top of the cart. Since this cart is going to be used for food preparation, I wanted to use a food safe finish. So I'm actually using a cutting board conditioner. One of the best things about this project is that you can customize it a number of ways. One of the first things I'm going to do is add a paper towel roll rack made out of half inch iron pipe. I'm also going to add some black coat hooks, which I'm going to use for hanging barbecue utensils. Lastly, I'm going to make a sliding hot plate by using a two-part epoxy to glue some quarter-inch strips of wood to the bottom of a 12 by 12 stone tile. For more detailed instructions on how to make this cart and to learn more about Home Depot's DIY programs, check out my website. 